Dar es Salaam, Tanzania Dar es Salaam, Tanzania's former capital, is the world's second fastest expanding metropolis located on the Swahili coast. Dar es Salaam has risen from a sleepy Zaramo fishing hamlet to a vibrant tropical metropolis of over 6 million people in the previous century. It is East Africa's largest metropolis and Africa's fifth largest. It is also the nation's manufacturing and economic center. Due to its location on the Indian Ocean coast, separated from the island of Zanzibar by the Zanzibar Channel, Dar es Salaam was founded in 1857 as a small community called Mzizima, Kiswahili for healthy town. Later, it became the site of cassava, millet, and maize plantations. Dar es Salaam, an Arabic name that means haven of peace, was formally founded in 1866 by the Sultan of Zanzibar, Majid bin Sayyid. After the Sultan's death in 1870, the city's fortunes declined, but they were recovered when the German East Africa Company opened a trade post there in 1887. Dar East Salem increased in importance as the German colonial presence in East Africa expanded, becoming the colony's administrative and commercial capital. It became the eastern terminus of the sea and O Canal railway line that ran into the interior of German East Africa in 1900. British forces took control of Dar East Salem and German East Africa during World War I. The colony was renamed Hanganika, but Dar East Salem remained the capital. The British also legalized the city's informal residential segregation, which had begun with the Germans. There were two African sections and one European section, Oyster Bay, Kariapu, and Alala. For Asians, a fourth segment was eventually created. Dar es Salaam expanded swiftly after World War II and quickly became a hotbed of anti-colonial activism led by the Tanganyika African National Union, TANU, which was created in the city. When Tanganyika gained independence in 1961, Dar es Salaam became its first capital, a position it retained when Tanganyika and Zanzibar combined to form Tanzania in 1964. Although the inland city of Dodoma was declared the new capital of Tanzania in 1973, most government offices remain in Dar es Salaam. Welcome to Thinkridge Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. City Layout Government offices are all centered in Dar es Salaam, and the country's diplomatic missions and non-governmental organizations are all represented in the bustling city area. Tanzania's Metropolitan Center is home to restaurants, stores, office buildings, and government facilities. In the city's landmarks and architecture, remnants of colonial presence, both German and British, may still be seen. Dar es Salaam's buildings generally represent the city's colonial heritage and feature a diverse range of architectural styles, including Swahili, British, German, and Asian influences. Modernization and development following World War II brought contemporary multi-story buildings, including a hospital complex, a technical institute, and a high court. The National Museum, the Village Museum, and the numerous colorful marketplaces are all worth exploring. A walking tour around the coastline and city center includes numerous historical landmarks, such as St. Joseph's Cathedral, the White Father's Mission House, the Botanical Gardens, and the Ancient State House. Dar es Salaam's natural, almost landlocked seaport provides as an outlet for the majority of mainland Tanzania's agricultural and mineral exports, as well as the surrounding landlocked countries of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Zambia, and Malawi. It also serves as a transit point for the Congo River, whose navigable tributary, the Lualaba, is accessible by rail. 
The Tanzim Railway, which was built in 1975 and connects Zambia with the port of Dardi Salam, runs west to Kiboma on Lake Tanganyika and north to Nwanza on Lake Victoria. Domestic and international flights are served at Dar es Salaam International Airport. The city has become a renowned tourist destination due to its attractive harbor, beautiful beaches, and vibrant nightlife. Embadia Island is the ideal place to unwind with its lovely beaches, clear waters, and delicious cuisine. People and Culture In 2002, the city had a population of 2.5 million people, with around 40% of the population being Muslim and 30% being Christian. It is East Africa's second busiest port in Tanzania's commercial center, straddling some of the world's most vital maritime routes. It is Tanzania's most prominent city in terms of arts, fashion, media, music, film and television, as well as a major financial center. The city serves as the primary entry and departure point for most tourists visiting Tanzania, including safari parks and the islands of Unguja and Pemba. To discover more about Tanzanian culture, pay a visit to the National Museum and Palace of Culture. From fossils and bones to carvings and statues, the National Museum and House of Culture houses a diverse collection. It also has a collection of artifacts from the slave trade and colonization, as well as several cars owned by the country's first president. The Open Air Village Museum has recreated the traditional residences of local and other Tanzanian tribes, as well as hosting tribal dancing. It is a branch of the National Museum, which houses displays on Tanzanian history, including the fossils of human progenitors discovered by anthropologist Louis Leakey. So, paint, food, metalware, glassware, textiles, wood carvings and shoes are examples of local products. Government and Services Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's largest metropolis, attracting people from outlying places in search of better prospects. Furthermore, the influx of Westerners, Asians, and other foreigners into the region has prompted appropriate government organizations to adopt more comprehensive regulations to accommodate the region's growing and diversified population. John Illiff, a historian, said in his 1979 journal A Modern History of Tanganyika, the town became a municipality in 1949, with four honorably elected town councillors who elected a mayor. Dar es Salaam was controlled by the Dar es Salaam City Council, the city's main policymaking authority, until June 1996. Paul Makonda is the commissioner of the Dar es Salaam region as of 2017. Commerce Dar es Salaam is one of the fastest developing cities in the area and the world, and it is expected to shape Tanzania's urban destiny. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania's previous capital city, retains its significance because the majority of the government offices were based here. However, the entire process of completely relocating government offices to Dodoma, the current capital city, may have an impact on the dynamics of Dar es Salaam in the near future. Nevertheless, it is Tanzania's primary economic and commercial hub, and it is anticipated to become a megacity by 2030. The city's expansion is characterized by both natural growth and a high rate of migration. Its industrial area manufactures goods for export and domestic usage. Dar es Salaam, like any expanding metropolis, attracts villagers looking for better possibilities. In comparison to other parts of Tanzania, the city has a high concentration of trade, other services, and industry. Dar es Salaam was the center of colonial administration and the principal point of contact between the agricultural mainland and the world of trade and business in the Indian Ocean and the Swahili coast during German colonization in the early 20th century. The Dar es Salaam Central Business District is Tanzania's largest, encompassing the Kasutu, Kivukoni, Upanga, and Kariakum neighborhoods. The city center is in the district of Alala. 
the Bank of Tanzania, the Dar e Salaam Stock Exchange, and the city's important Matagoni fish market are all located in Kivukoni. The Dar e Salaam Stock Exchange DSE, is Tanzania's first stock exchange. Kasutu is home to businesses and offices, as well as the Dar e Salaam Central Railway Station, the PSPF Towers, and the TPA Tower. The PSPF Twin Towers at 35 floors are the city's and country's second highest structures. The M. Lamani City Shopping Mall, the City Mall in the Kasudu District, the Quality Center Mall, GSM Pubu Shopping Mall, GSM M. Sasani Mall, and the Dar Free Market Mall are all located in Dar e Salaam. Transportation Tanzania's government has made improving transportation infrastructure a top priority. Improving the infrastructure of the country's roads, ports, trains, and airports is vital for the country's internal and external trade and economic activity. Furthermore, as Tanzania aspires to become a middle-income country, the sector's future development is inextricably linked to advancements in the energy sector. Tanzania's rail routes are important conduits for bulk freight in the region because they relieve road congestion. The Tanzania Railway Limited TRL, and the Tanzania Zambia Railway Authority Tazara, operate the rail system, which has a total track length of 3,676 km. The railways link the port of Dar e Salaam to the neighboring countries of Burundi, the DRC, Malawi, Rwanda, Uganda, and Zambia. Dardi Salon Seaport is the country's largest and busiest, managing nearly all of Tanzania's international trade. Malawi, Zambia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, and Uganda are among the landlocked countries served by the port. Mwanza on Lake Victoria and Kigoma on Lake Tanganyika are two of the most important lake ports. Tanzania Ports Authority TPA, is in charge of both the seaports and the inland lake ports. In addition, the country has four international airports, Dar es Salaam, Jainaya, Kilimanjaro, Kia, Zanzibar, ZIA, and Nwanza, MWZ. Tanzania's largest and busiest airport, the Dar es Salaam Airport, commonly known as Julius Nyerer International Airport, had 21 airlines operating as of 2016. <music> Education Dar e Salaam has the highest percentage of learning opportunities in Tanzania, and the city is home to various universities. After the institution of Dodoma, the University of Dar e Salaam is Tanzania's oldest and second largest public university. It is situated on Observation Hill, 13 kilometers, 8 miles from the city center in the western section of the city in northeast Ubungo and covers 1,625 acres, 6.58 kilometers squared. The old University College of Lands and Architectural Studies, UCLAS, which was then a constituent college of the University of Dar es Salaam, was transformed into Ardhai University, Eru, on July 1, 1996. Ardhai University was founded in 1956 as the Surveying Training School, which offered land surveying technician certificate studies in the current Mgulani Salvation Army Camp in Dar es Salaam. The school was relocated to its current site on Observation Hill in 1958. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notification.